Hey, my name is Jobby, and today we're taking a look at... <laughs> Have you ever paid a ton of money for a nostalgic object only to find out that your childhood self had extremely poor taste? Yeah, this thing sucks. Now to be fair, the figure you're looking at right now is not exactly the figure I had growing up. The one I had was the Japanese version, which was larger and had better paint apps. This guy is the inferior American buck a guy can fucking piece of trash version. But I gotta be honest, making this guy bigger and giving him better paint would not improve this fundamentally flawed figure. Fuck. Imperial Dramon here is a character from the second season of Digimon, which I never really got into honestly, but I cannot deny that this design is one of my favorites. And the painting and the sculpting on this fucking figure? is actually pretty good. The colors are striking and clean. The sculpting is dynamic, especially on the wings. And the head sculpt looks very nice. I love his hair. But actually handling this figure is like going up to a pretty girl and asking her about her interests, only to find out that her ball joints are floppy and she doesn't even have a thigh swivel. Don't even look at me if you don't have a thigh swivel. In the figure's defense, I bought this used off of eBay, so I wasn't exactly expecting top shelf quality here. But age is no excuse for poor design. His arms and legs can't even move in and out. You could put him on a bad Itamashi Nation stand not included, but that doesn't really improve anything. Now it's just a flying piece of crap. And you know, I, I get that kids can poke their stupid little eyes out on the pointy bits, but this? This is just too damn soft. As for accessories, he's got this arm cannon. It can extend, bend for some reason. It barely pegs into his arm, fuck it. And if you lift this dragon head and plug the gun into here, you got this chest cannon attack! So the figure's not the best, but at least it has a decent amount of swivels, right? Right? Swivels? Please? Swivel. Oh, thank god. Up and down. Rotate. Swivel here! Elbow. Only the middle claw can lift up for some reason. Fuck you too. Wings can move up. Bend here. Swivel at the- no swivel here, how about... Uh, let, let, let's move on, there, there has to be more swivels, right? Uh, uh, oh, no, 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 there's no... There's no swivels here, oh no. Where, where are the swivels? Oh, the swivel... No, 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 where's the sw swivel? Here. Swivel here, no, swivel, swivel here, swivel here, no, no swivel... Swivel here, no. Oh, joint light. Stupid son of a bitch knee. And a useless fucking crap shit. Ankle ball joint. So because of the fact that there are no... <laughs> All these joints are basically useless. Let's do some size comparisons! Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Figma Madoka Kaname, the SH Monster Rides Godzilla, and these other way better Digimon figures. So the so-called fighter mode looks good, but is actually... Shit. Well, that's not all there is to this Three. figure. Uh And here we have the DRAGON MODE! As for posability on this mode, fuck it. Just fuck it. Alright, let me ease up. Just like the fighter mode, the dragon mode here doesn't look too bad. But this is honestly the part that pisses me off the most. I mean, the transformation could have been way better. Especially compared to all these other Digivolving figures. All of these guys are based on designs that are organic. They don't have any shifting parts that indicate that they would transform. But this guy, this fucking guy literally is a transformer. I mean, look at his fucking chest. This is a dragon face. The design for an outstanding and clever transforming Digimon figure was practically handed to Bandai on a silver plate. And what did they do with it? They spit on it, covered it up, and shit out this lazy, uninspired mess of a figure. He could have been the best out of all of these guys. But instead... He's the worst. So overall, I mean, I love this character's design, and I could get the SH Figure Arts version, I could do that, but the fact that it can't transform would just upset me. So only get this disappointment if your nostalgia is just too strong and you have to have it. And even then, 
try to find it at a good price. I do not recommend you spend over 10 bucks on him. God, I'm broke. You could even say I'm. Young Broken Board. I wanna die sometime. Welcome to the segment of the video where I shamelessly promote myself. Check out Young Broken Board. We upload a podcast every Monday dealing with topics such as movies, TV shows, but buttholes. Seriously, most of our recent podcast was about Winnie the Pooh eating honey off of uh, Piglet's asshole. Hoo <laughs> bother. Check out stuff. We will suck you off so good. Smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. I love you. I don't always love my life sometimes. I'm alone in this godforsaken universe. Oh no. Oh no, it's happening. <laughs> Oh my eyes, oh my eyes, oh, I can't see. Ah, 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 Let's make this viral. If that fucking Chewbacca mom could go viral and get get a bunch of money, I would laugh in front of the camera because I have headphones on my eyes. <laughs> it brings me so much joy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy because I got headphones on my eyes. <laughs> I want to die.